Today, we're going to be looking over a highly requested four-star corner commit, Larry Tarver. A guy who's been committed to Nebraska since December. And somebody that a lot of people expect to potentially get playing time as a true freshman. So in today's video, we're going to look over his high school film. We'll see the good, the bad, but most importantly, the stuff that we are super excited to see for the next three to five years as Nebraska black shirt. So real quick, if you like the content, please hit like button on this video. It really helps me out along with subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any more Nebraska recruiting videos or film breakdowns like this. Nobody is doing it like us here on the Wilson and Sports Channel. But without further ado, let's get into Larry Tarver. All right, let's just jump right into it. I'm super excited to look over Larry Tarver, another Florida commit guy from Miami. I know a lot of people project him to be very solid for the Cornhuskers, so I'm really excited to watch him. And A couple things I'm going to be watching are his burst, the, just the raw ability to go up and make a play. They're nice footwork. Ah, oh, read the play. Awesome. Yeah, he's going to take it to the crib. And you already see the speed on him. He's listed at about six foot, 165. And that was just, again, great burst to read the play. Uh, go make a play on that football. Bring it back to the crib. So another job there. Yeah, nice. Same deal. Same deal. Read the core route to perfection. I mean, watch his eyes. We'll go right back to it. And watch his eyes. Recognizes the play. A little bit of a bad football, and probably if I was a quarterback, through it a little bit sooner. But yeah, Larry Tarver makes up for it again. You just see the speed once the ball is in his hands, man, he can go the distance. So playing some press coverage here now, backing up, playing zone or no play man to man. A nice job, my goodness! Once again, just the ball instincts, and you, again, you see it once again. Just a knack for when he has the ball in his hands, he's going to take it to the crib the, the other way. Um, badly thrown football, he takes advantage. Yeah, man-to-man -man coverage here. Jumps the route. Beautiful. And this is something that Tony White, Evan Cooper, uh, Matt Rule, some of our some of our other defensive coaches look for in their secondary. Just guys who are explosive, ball hawks, guys who just have a, have a way of finding the football at all times. And then once they have it, those guys are super athletic. So basically. The exact same thing. Oh, that was a terrible pass. That was a terrible. That, that's not a highlight. Let's call it what it is. That is a terrible pass. If anybody was out there playing cornerback, we could have probably picked that one off. All right. Now some press coverage. Man to man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's technique. And look at this. Please tell me he takes this. Okay. He'll get close. But this is great. And this is something that I really like to look for in some of our cornerback commits is they don't really have the ability to play significant press coverage out of high school. So if you have this experience and you're already doing really a good job at it, uh, that's huge for your development. But again, playing man-to-man -man coverage, great job, great hand fighting, goes up, gets it. And I will say that was a terrible read by the quarterback. Should not have thrown that football, especially in the way of Larry Tarver. I'm liking these uniforms uh, by his team. And we're seeing a little bit of the all black. Again, the instincts are second to none. The ball instincts just go up and get it, try to make a play. The reaction time, the acceleration, all things that you look for. And he has it right here. Again, the backpedaling is phenomenal. Then goes up, just makes a play on the football, swats it away. And he got a little bit of character to him. You saw the celebration after that. You want that from your members of the secondary. You know, they, they, all, they all need to have a little bit of character and a little confidence in them. That's part of it. Again, same deal. He just has such great instincts. Read and react type player. And again, you see that, you see that character once again. Looks like he made a big play there on what looked like third down or fourth down. Let's see an open field tackle. There we go. And this is something that Matt Rule loves. This is something that I love to see in, in your members of the secondary. What Not only the safeties, but your cornerbacks. The ability to make an open field tackle. To go up and stick a tackle. Or, or excuse me, stick stick a wide receiver. Stick a tight end. Um, again, you don't want to have two guys bring him down. You want to have that one guy. The first guy to meet him to bring him down to the dirt. So again, playing deep corner once again. 
They usually have them at that same spot, that boundary corner. It would be interesting to see if they had a more to nickel or more at safety. Um, I know Matt Rule loves that positional flexibility, the, the ability to play all over the secondary. So, But Larry Tarver already just looks like that your traditional boundary corner guy who can go one-on-one with your best guy. And that's just, pff, that's awesome. And Nebraska fans are going to love to see that. We're going to give that a second look here. Again, a little, a little blitz off the edge, tight end, terrible block, and Larry Tarver. I mean, he just bring that guy to the ground too easy. Did not look like a cornerback there. I like some of these secondary blitzes. I know that we've ran some in the past, and yeah, he's doing a good job. Nice open field tackle once again to bring down the running back. Stick him, man. He kidding me right now, Larry Tarver? And I get that's a quarterback, but just the ability to go and put his head down. And I mean, come on, that's a hit stick. That's a hit stick, as the kids like to say. You do not see that from your stereotypical boundary corner only press coverage type of guy. Again, you can just you can just see the speed, the raw athleticism, the ability to keep up with anybody on the field. Again, this is a guy who runs a legit four four. Yeah, look at this field. Holy cow. Once again, press coverage. A little bit of hand fighting. Yeah, I mean, it's just too easy. Again, I like that swagger. I like that confidence he also has. But the footwork, it, 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 he backs it up. He backs it up. When, you, when you're when you a quarterback and you have that swag, you have that confidence, you need to back it up with your technique, with your footwork, with your raw athleticism, and he does just that. Man. And there's been a couple plays on here where he just puts one hand out, swats it away, just makes a play on the football. Too many times cornerbacks are trying to make a big play and go for an interception at all times, but he does a nice job again using his hand, extending fully, uh, knock a ball away. And here's just one of those fun highlights where you can see his athletic ability. All right, get the ball in open field. I can run a 4-4. You can't. I'm going to run past you type of player. So good. Another another play in open field, bringing him down. All right, so that was his senior highlights, Larry Tarver Jr. Now let's go over my takes and opinions. All right, let's get right into it. What we just watched, that was Larry Tarver. And man, there's a lot of good to be talked about. A guy who's six foot tall, 165, really good frame, really good speed. But you can see that raw athleticism on the football field. It translates very well. Uh, I love the press coverage. This is something that we haven't seen from other Nebraska corner commits too often. He was running press coverage exclusively, a lot of man. Um, didn't see too much zone coverage. Um, a lot of times, again, you're going to want to learn that when you get to Nebraska. We run a lot of cover two, a lot of cover three um, in Tony White's defense. So got to learn that again, basically ran exclusively man coverage. But besides that, you saw the raw instincts, man, he's a dog. He goes up, gets the jump ball. And when he has the ball in his hands off of a pick, he brings it to the other end. Um, man, just really good footwork, really good backpedaling. He has that ability to have an open field tackle and lay the boom on an opposing running back and opposing quarterback. So those were all things I was super, super stoked about when it came to Larry Tarver. And really, he backs up the hype. There's a reason why people are projecting him to potentially play as a true freshman. Of course, he's a four-star according to Rivals.com. So Larry Tarver looks really good. Again, the only thing I'd probably work on is the zone coverage. He did not have too much experience of that in his defense. Along with just the fact that Matt Rule, Tony White, they like that positional flexibility not only playing that boundary corner but potentially playing nickel corner playing safety playing free safety um, so that's something that we might want to mess around with when it comes to Larry Tarver but he looks really good you he checks all the boxes when it comes to a big 10 boundary corner very physical very fast has that upside and man 
Nebraska is building a pipeline in Miami, Florida. And this is where you type this is the type of talent that comes from Miami. Just really, really good corners, really good receivers. And hopefully we can start to get some more good talent in there in upcoming classes. So let me know down below what you think about Larry Tarver, how you're feeling about this secondary class as a whole. Man, we have some good true freshmen coming in. We also have a couple uh, players coming off red shirts who are really good at that secondary spot. So let me know all that down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video. And as always, folks, go big red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.